It is surprising that very few people know the term heart rate variability, as it is so fundamental for our daily life. When a heart loses its flexibility and its fluctuation, it's a clear indication that someone's life comes towards the end. And then on the contrary, when heart rhythms get really chaotic and volatile, that too can be fatal in an attack of heart arrhythmia. Between these two extremes, there is a realm in music and in medicine where the flexibility is in a balanced realm. This is where groove and health is at home. The stimulation of the vagus nerve is the motor for a good heart rate variability, but it also brings people out of depression. Dr. Alfred Loninger and Dr. Klaus Latschika have been the two physicians from Vienna who spearheaded that kind of research around the heart rate variability. In a research study, we measured heart rate variability during Takatina sessions. The green ovals represent the Takatina process. The arrows show the reaction on Takatina with explicit low heart rates and very high flaming. Such high flaming is a clear sign for a very high parasympathetic activation. In other words, Takatina triggers a state which is the foundation of any self-healing process. As we all know, the demands of everyday life, stress and disease can push us out of our internal rhythms. So we are in urgent need for an instrument that is able to restore our internal rhythm, to resynchronize us. And in my personal opinion, as a physician, and as a musician, Takatina is the most potent instrument to restore these rhythms. Yeah, my, my.